That former employee is Rebecca Jones, the former data manager for the Florida Department of Health and designer of the COVID dashboard used to track COVID numbers in the state. Now, Florida Department of Law Enforcement says the raid was conducted after she used a state messaging system that she was not authorized to access. Last night on CNN, Jones denied the allegations against her. A lot of the language that was used in it is not the way I talk. And the number of deaths that the person used wasn't even right. They were off, they were actually under by about 430 deaths. I would never round down 430 deaths. Tonight, 10 Investigates Jennifer Titus is taking a closer look at the exact warrant and explains why some lawmakers are calling for their own investigation into exactly what happened. It was definitely shocking to me. Senator Chevron Jones is not the only lawmaker with questions after seeing this video that former Florida Department of Health data manager Rebecca Jones posted on Twitter. Calm down. Calm down. From Agricultural Commissioner Nikki Freed to Congressman Charlie Crist looking for an explanation that led to the intense moments inside her home. I believe that this could have been done differently. In a statement, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement says agents knocked and called Miss Jones and she refused to come to the door for 20 minutes. When I first saw the video, I, I, the first thing I thought was this is insane. Um, like, what did she do uh, that warranted uh, that type of uh, reaction to them? FDLE goes on to say our investigation began last month following a complaint by Florida Department of Health that a person illegally hacked into their emergency alert system. 10 investigates obtaining the search warrant affidavit that says on November 10th, an unidentified subject gained access to a multi-user account group and sent a group text that said, it's time to speak up before another 17,000 are dead. Be a hero. Speak out before it's too late. It goes on to say that an investigation revealed the IP address came from Rebecca Jones. She once had access to the group, but as a former employee, no longer is authorized to use the account. If, in fact, they were using a shared Log on, that's, you know, that's a violation of accountability. That's Jeremy Resmussen with Abacode Cybersecurity. He says what needs to be investigated is the system the state is using. The affidavit states that all users assigned to the state emergency planning group all share the same username and password. So would you say that this is a vulnerability in the state system? If the uh, state didn't have such a system in place, single sign-on with multi-factor authentication, provisioning and deprovisioning as a workflow, then they're lacking in their security. If we do have a flaw to where there is one password, one username that's across the entire department, of course, that's, that's silly. That should not even be the case. Senator Jones says he is calling for an independent investigation to look into the system as a whole. The 21 million people in the state of Florida, they deserve to know. They do not, what we don't need to be seeing right now is looking at Rebecca Jones being uh, looked at as some, as, as some type of criminal. What's criminal is what the state of Florida has done over the past 10 months and how we have handled this. That's what's criminal. FDLZ sent us a statement this evening stating agents were aware that children may be in the home and quote, agents exercised tremendous restraint throughout the execution of the search warrant yesterday, especially considering the significant delay they faced in gaining entry and what that could represent to officer safety. So let's take a deeper dive right now into how we got here. Jones was fired back in May, not long after she sent an email saying she heard from many people about the dashboard going down, data being hidden and dramatic changes. She said her office stopped maintaining the system for reasons beyond their control. She said she went to a supervisor for help, but was then fired. In July, she filed a former whistleblower charge of discrimination against the Department of Health. During that time, Governor Ron DeSantis claimed Jones was not a data scientist and accused her of putting data on the portal that the scientists did not believe, not listening to her superiors, and having criminal charges in the state, which she has denied. 10 Investigates has been following these developments for months. Jennifer did have a chance to speak with Jones' lawyer today. You're going to hear what he has to say coming up at 6.